Gabriel Rosado versus Shane Mosley Jr. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between uh, Rosado and Mosley Jr. Uh, is scheduled for 10 rounds in the super middleweight division to take place this weekend, this Saturday on the 9th of April, April 9, 2022. It will be part of the undercard of the uh, Ryan Garcia versus Emmanuel Tagoe fight, which will be taking place over at the San, uh, the Alamodome in uh, San Antonio, Texas, USA. Event will be shown live around the world on the zone. So tune into the zone if you want to see this event. So before I talk about who I think will, will win between Rosado and Mosley, uh, to those who don't know, Gabe Rosado, this will be his first fight since losing to Jaime Munguia back in November of last year in a fight where I honestly thought Gabe was going to pull off the big upset. I'm not going to lie. I thought he was going to go out there and shock the world. But obviously I was wrong. Jaime has uh, shown a lot of improvement and uh, Jaime ended up winning that fight back in November. So uh, Rosado you know, is back to um, trying to rebound after that loss. Uh, currently 26 wins, 14 losses, 1 draw, 15 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Again, don't let that 14 losses deceive you. Um, he's been in there against a lot of the top top fighters over the years. Um, and obviously he lost some, but at the same time, you know, at least he's been in there. And he's won some, like the Daniel Jacobs fight. Should have won that fight, man. Just thinking about it again. <laughs> uh, just thinking about it again, man. He should have, he clearly won that fight. And Well, it was close, but he should have won. Man, it is what it is. Anyway, he's going in there against the son of Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley Jr., 31 years old from California. 17 wins, 4, four losses. 10 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. He too is coming off a loss against Jason Quigley back in May of last year. So both fighters are coming off losses. Both fighters need to win this fight if they want to move on to bigger and better things. And that fighter, in my opinion, is the king, Gabe Rosado. I've seen some people predicting on this fight. A lot of people are choosing Shane Mosley Jr. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what you see in Shane Mosley Jr. that makes you think he can win this fight. Experience is on the side of Rosado. In my opinion, Rosado is a better technical fighter. Has better boxing IQ, has more experience. Yes, he's been in there in a lot of wars. Um, but the, the guy can still box and he's proven that. I know he didn't look, he didn't look the best against Jaime Munguia, but still. Still, I, I, I don't really think too highly of uh, Shane Mosley Jr., to be honest. Um, very average fighter. Um, whenever it's time to step up, he ends up falling short. And here he is fighting an experienced fighter in Gabe Rosado. I just don't see, I don't think Shane Mosley Jr. has the tools like his dad did. Does not have the tools, doesn't have that punching power, speed, toughness. He's, he's not the same like not the same as his dad I mean I'm I'm comparing his dad because I feel like a lot of people think that just because he's his son means he's automatically good I mean he's already lost four fights and he's 31 years old should be in his prime years fighting Jason Quigley he ends up losing that fight in a close fight those are guys that you need to be beating if you are a top fighter and honestly I think Gabe Rosado would beat Jason Quigley so so yeah I see Gabe going out there and uh, winning, I would say, seven rounds to three. Seven rounds to three. You know, I'm not, you know, Shane Mosley is definitely going to win some rounds here and there. It's going to be a competitive fight, especially early on. But in the end, I think um, Gabe Rosado's experience over the years will, uh, will help him get the win in this fight. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Again, I did choose the game to win against uh, Jaime Munguia, and look how that turned out. So uh, I could be wrong here too. So we'll see. Again, seven rounds to three in favor of Gabe Rosado. Uh, looking forward to a great weekend of boxing. A lot of boxing going on in the world. Um, sucks that I have worked at night. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.